Clemson University. I want to ask, we've heard how Earth Island is monitoring the canning of goods in the country, but I want to ask what's the government doing to monitor the mercury content that's possibly being imported in the country? I'm well, I'm not a specific <laughs> program no, to monitor, but I'm sure our authorities are aware of the problem, but I don't know what the uh, uh, gap is level na uh, kumbaga yung activity ng monitoring ng ating mga uh, government agencies. But speaking about yung issue kanina, if you want to see animals, uh, please go to the House of uh, Representatives. <laughs> you see a lot of animals. And, <laughs> and maybe we should uh, start a campaign. Uh, instead of exporting dolphins to Singapore, let's export our politicians to... <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to add something again. Um, you said uh, the issue on t tourism was asked. Uh, what, what our group is doing also is trying to monitor the, the boats going out for dolphin watching and whale watching uh, tours. Uh, usually, the problem uh, comes in when there are kulorum boats. So like, for example, if you go to Panglao, you have. Uh, well, before a dolphin watching tour is uh, put in place in any province or any municipality, they go through a rigorous process with uh, advocates, with scientists, the government um, representatives from before probably, or DNR. So it's a well thought uh, tourism package. Now, the, the problem comes in when, like for example, you're in Panglao Island, then you want to go dolphin watching, so you wake up really early and you intend to go to the, to the office or tourism desk where you can uh, avail of the tour, then suddenly like four or five people approaches you and, uh, and tells you, as uh, more as amen, we have a cheaper rate. Then you would say, okay, let's take this one. It's about responsive, responsible tourism. Uh, not just in dolphin watching, in, in any kind of tourism, there's uh, an adverse effect on the environment. If you go beyond what's necessary, if you go beyond what's uh, thought of if we go beyond what's uh, standard, okay? So as tourists, it's our responsibility uh, to be responsible. No? If someone uh, approaches you and tells you these things, na mas mura sa is cheaper uh, because we don't have to go to, to pay taxes, we don't have to pay uh, fees to the organization, uh, don't avail of that. Be responsible. No? Uh, the reason why we promote or we like to suggest dolphin watching is because it's not intrusive, okay? We, we don't need to, to interfere with the eco ecosystem by taking the, the dolphins out of the ecosystem and putting it in a tank, okay? But then, once it becomes intrusive, ito yung sinasabi kanina, yung Addy, right? Na, let's say there are a hundred boats that approaches one single pod, okay? The, the boatmen, usually, if they're, if, they have, uh, if they're registered, if they're licensed, uh, boat, uh, uh, dolphin tour, tours, uh, tour boats, they follow protocols. Those who don't follow protocols are the ones who are in Florum, okay? the illegal ones. So be responsible. If, let's, let's say, for example, if you're in Bohol and you say blue whale, you have, that's quite a, uh, an experience. And if the boatman's the one who tells you, okay, let's, let's chase this blue whale so you can see it every time it surfaces, be responsible and tell him that's not the proper way. So before you go on to the boat, listen to the, to the usually they have a, like a briefing, Listen to that and take that to heart. Okay? Be responsible. Be responsible for your country, for your for our environment. 